We're gonna be working upper body today. Now, many of us spend plenty of time lifting weights or just supporting our own weight, doing downward dogs, chaturangas, or planks. We don't always spend enough time with the muscles that pull. And in doing so, we can create imbalance, which can lead to injury or poor posture, rounded shoulders. I fall into all three of those categories. So we're gonna be working on a routine with our resistance band to bring a more well-rounded, balanced feeling to our upper body. So hopefully you have one so you can join in and we're gonna get started right now. I hope you are feeling ready to work. Go ahead and grab the ends of your resistance band. Feet will be a little wider than your hips. I want a nice, strong core here while we do our work. Gentle pull apart with the hands. We're gonna start with a little warm up. So up and over. And if you can't come all the way over without doing something funky with the head or the neck, then don't go all the way behind or try widening the distance of your hands on your band. These have a terrible name. They're called shoulder dislocations, but they do feel good, I think, for most of us. So let this be part of our warm up. Back and forward. For five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. I want you to bring that band overhead and then bend just behind the head as you come up and then you're gonna bring it in front. So give a nice static pulse. You should feel tension between your arms as you move back and forth between the two. I always think banded work is great. Maybe after a day where you're sitting in front of the computer, just find it opens the chest right back up, brings all the awareness up there into how poor some of our postures are, like mine. Five, four, three, two. Last one, bring it behind. All right, so I want you to give that little pull apart. Think of lifting your sternum to the ceiling and nice and strong through the back body. So my shoulder blades are kind of hogging into my back. You're gonna push out and control that way in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, static hold here. Pull your elbows forward, All right? So you should feel a nice stretch across the chest. I've got some burning going on behind me in a good way. And up, Whew. Release your grip. We want you to find the middle of your band. We're gonna take one foot right on top. Find the resistance that works for you, so you might need to do a couple wind-ups here. Elbows are gonna stitch into side body. Take this into a little bicep curl. Make sure you're challenged, so if you need to grip up a bit, give yourself another wind-up of the band. And slow drop. So that's the eccentric, which is where usually we get more benefit from the band work. Up and down for eight, seven, six, five, control the way down, four, three, two, last one, give me 90 degree angle, palms are gonna face the ceiling, again. Control that way down, eight, seven, Six, five, nice and slow, four, three, two, and one. As you extend the arms, you may need to loosen up your grip slightly. Go back into a little pull for those triceps. Right now my palms are facing away. Make sure you are supporting that low back by drawing the navel in. Chest is nice and open. Same premise here, don't let those arms just drop. I want you to keep the tension in the back of the tricep. Pull and release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, I want you to hold it back there. Keep the tension in the arm. Really small, can you pulse it? 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one I want you to hold here. Use those triceps and release. Keep your band underneath that foot. Palms are gonna face each other. I want you to keep a nice lifted sternum. Lift straight out to the sides and then control that way down. Lift and lower. Control it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I always find this one really humbling. <laughs> two, that's two. And one, hold it up there. Good, keep the tension. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Step off your band. I'm gonna wind up, feet nice and wide, just like we did before, arms overhead. Give me that nice bend. I want a little more tension. So give me that nice bend, little pulls apart, just like we did after warm up. Focus on sternum to the ceiling, long spine. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here, keeping tension. So I want you to take that band from your head to see if you can go a little further behind you. Opening up the chest, shoulder blades squeeze together on this one. Bring it back, control the way in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it back there, breath in, Whew. all right, and release, give me a couple shoulder rolls, hopefully you're feeling lots of blood flow in that upper body, arms come out to the right, so I'm going to give another wind up, arms come to the right, and I want you to pull and release, just like you're drawing back the bow of an arrow. Slow drop in, right? so we don't just drop quickly. Back with that elbow. 10, nine, eight, seven, open the chest. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Take it to the ceiling and drop. You're gonna pull. Right, so if you're right-handed, you're probably like, oh, this side feels so much easier. I am left-handed, so this is actually my easier side. I could probably do this all day. <laughs> Pull and release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Nice and slow on the release. Three, two, pull. Nice open chest, keep the tension. Go from one side over to the other for eight, seven. Keep the pull, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Go ahead and unravel. I'm going to go to my other foot. So hopefully you remember what foot you used. I didn't cue you. Second set for those biceps, wind up. So depending on the resistance of your band will be how many winds you do. I just so happen to have one of the higher resistance bands. So I'm definitely feeling this workout. Elbows into the sides. Feel those shoulders sliding down your back. Palms are facing each other. Eight, seven, control the way down. Six, five, four, three, Two, and one, dropping slowly. Palms are gonna face the ceiling. Lift, again, for eight. Slow decline down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Slow drop. Unravel probably once or twice, depending on your resistance. Let's have the palms face each other for this round to get a little different angle of those triceps. I want you to push back, 
Check in with your form. You should not be feeling back pain. You should be feeling a strong center. An open chest, pushing back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it up there. Keep the tension in the back of that arm. Get a little fireball back there. You're going to lift small for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Go ahead and release. You can stand up nice and tall. Let's have the palms rotate to face out this time. Relax those shoulders down your back. You can keep soft bend to your elbows. Once you try your lifts from here, make sure you're going nice and slow on that way down. You're resisting gravity, holding on to that tension for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, stay with me, we're almost done, three, two, and one, hold it up there, good, and release. Step off your band. I like to roll my ends here, just so that they're not flying all over the place. That is just my preference. So I want you to find the distance in your band so that you can pull the elbows in, Relax those shoulders down your back. One more little set for these biceps. So I'm gonna pull apart while I'm doing my lift. So I can feel my elbows squeezing in tight and my arms pulling outward. So I am guilty of having that imbalance in my shoulder. And it actually causes a lot of problems. So I've had shoulder impingement. I also just recently am getting over uh, the beginning of a frozen shoulder, which is quite painful. I need to incorporate this on a more regular basis, which I am, and I feel better already. So I don't want you to be like me. So work on those muscles that pull. You're gonna take this up. So as you come up, palms are gonna face each other, and as you come down, palms are gonna face out. So palms out, palms in, palms out, palms in. I'm gonna give me another wind up. Palms in, palms out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, I want you to lift. Hands are facing each other. Take it down to that 90 degree angle and lift it back up. 10, nine, you're pulling apart the whole time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, relax, unravel that band, give me a couple shoulder rolls, we are in the home stretch, I promise you, I want one final set for those triceps, so go ahead and double up your band, bring it behind you, we'll take it into a little chair position, so bending the knees, shoulders away from your ears, let's start with the hands facing the floor, as you lift, so give me a gentle pull apart, Keeping tension in the band as you do your lifts, up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I want you to hold it up there, give me a small little pulse for 10, 9, keep the tension pulling apart, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Palms face each other, lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Palms face the ceiling, last set, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep the tension, hold it up there. Feel the fire, exhale, release. You can set that band down. We've made it, congratulations. Fix your pants. Right comes across, give me an active shrug down. You can hold here, pushing that right shoulder away from your ear. I like to take this a little bit deeper, 
by adding some body weight. So I'm gonna let my torso get heavy, folding in half. Actively push your right arm into your left arm, taking the fold only if you want. And roll up, continuing with that right side. Guide the elbow towards the ceiling. So I want you to listen to your body here. Some of us might be here pulling back from the base of the arm. I want to make sure the ribs are corseted together. If you can find the tip of the elbow, I want you to try to walk your hand to the middle of your back. Right? So rather than being on the shoulder blade, I'm gonna walk it a little further over. This allows me to push my head into my arm, giving me a little more length for the side body, getting into that tricep. So if you want to add a little side bend here, push the head into the arm. Release. Second side, left crosses over, active shrug down. This might be enough for you. If you like to take the fold, fold in half. Make sure you're actively shrugging the left shoulder away from your ear. And roll your way up. Nice and slow as you on wind and come into your tricep stretch again here right so focus on a nice long spine not letting the head fall forward as you come into your pose if you've got the elbow don't pull on the elbow we never pull on the elbow take the left and press it into the right walk the left hand a little further over so the head can push into the arm if you choose a little side bend and release. You made it. I want you to pay attention maybe for the rest of the day or even tomorrow on how you're feeling in your upper body. I want you to walk a little taller and feel a little stronger and come back and visit sometime soon. Namaste.